Hey friends, tonight I'm hanging out at Epcot, but Epcot closes in 30 minutes, and then it's extra magic hours from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. for a resort guest. I obviously am not a resort guest, but that doesn't mean I have to leave. I still get to see Epcot a little bit less crowded. I just can't go on any rides. So, let's go do this. With only a half an hour left in the park, test tracks down for refurbishment, I'm gonna try to get on Soren. I thought I would check to see if there are any fast passes available, and let's just see what happens. Nope, there are no fast pass plus experiences available at this time. Bye bye. So hopefully, a lot of people are lining up to watch Epcot forever, and I can get on Soren with like a 10, 15 minute wait. That's the plan, let's see if it goes that way. And maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to get in and on Soren and off, and then head on over to the seas in time to see Nemo swimming out to sea. The time is not in our favor though. It is 8.35, we have 25 minutes left. Oh, this is gonna be a close one. And sweet, Soren is only a 15 minute wait. This is not no 15 minute wait. There is nobody in line here. Ha! Huh. I think we might have lucked up. The Soren music just makes me feel like I'm about to do something very important. Like I feel like honor and integrity as I walk down this ramp. If somebody asked me to describe Soren, I would definitely say it's an exhilarating gliding adventure that includes dramatic drops, turns, swoops, and lifts. I think that is uh, pretty precise. And I definitely would not recommend it to those who have fear of heights. I also politely asked for a B because I don't want no leaning Eiffel of Tower. I don't know, I don't think we're gonna make it guys. 846, we haven't even got on yet. Whoa. Can I proceed down to the carriage, thank, you? thank you. Oh yes, favorite seat. Oh, Make sure you check your seat belt. Seat belts go left to right, and then prepare to um, fly.
good one, but we got four minutes to get over to the seas. But I have something important I have to say, and I don't know if I should just say it later or if I should just try to get there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He's got the same idea. <laughs> Okay, I might as well tell you what the important thing I was gonna say was because I don't think I'm making it to the seas. I have a minute. That's not happening. But are they gonna redo Soren? Because in the ending scene of Soren, you know, you go over Epcot and you see the, the fountain and basically all the facade of everything that they're changing in Epcot. So they're gonna have to updo that, right? They're gonna have to. And in a twist turn of events, as I was leaving the Land Pavilion, I ran into some friends who were actually staying on property, and I was telling them how I was gonna try to make it over here, but I ran out of time, and they said, that's okay, and they actually brought me over, and uh, they let me go through with them, but then they left because they didn't wanna ride the seas. They said that they wanted to ride Soren real bad. So, thank you guys, I appreciate you, and uh, now we get to see Nemo swimming out to sea. I'm sure when it comes to extra magic hours, a lot of people aren't flocking over to the seas. As you can see, the queue is a little bit empty. <laughs> and I'm not exactly sure why I'm actually riding the seas, but I've had a big blue world stuck in my head for like the past week and I can't get it out. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go ride the seas in a big blue world. It's okay because no one's in line in a big blue world. Yep. This one? Thank you. Seriously, I'm going to be doing this alone, guys. <laughs> Nobody here. I like it. There he is. But what do you think about doing turtle talk since I'm in here? I mean, do they even do turtle talk if there's nobody in the amphitheater? I don't know. I'm gonna find out. And yeah, they do do it. The next show is at 9.35. There's only two other people in here with me. So uh, I think I'm gonna look at some cool fishes and then come back and uh, see how much more interactive it is with less people. There's nobody up on the upper levels. So we get to look at the dolphins. Oh look at, there's one right there. You see him? Here he comes. <laughs> Come here now. Look at that. Wow, this is really good to be able to just explore in here without a lot of people. I'm liking this. Well, there's the dolphin, look at him go. Hey buddy. Come back, I wanna be friends. Oh, I don't think they like me. <laughs> but look at this guy. <laughs> we gotta get back to turtle talk. They're 
call and last call. I hear them from up there. Five minutes. <laughs> oh, now we got a crazy, crazy thing right here. Holy moly. <laughs> It's the crazy stingray right there. Here's another one. They're crazy. Well, we got a couple more people here actually. Would you look at that? I don't think I've ever sat in the front row for a crush. This is pretty fun. I'm excited. Hatchlings, grommet, offspring, chillin' sub-level. Hey, let's talk to the dude chillin' ever on this side. Yeah, hanging out in the white shell. Hey, bro. Yeah. Bonus! Answer the question for squirt. What does a human do at a beach? Shout it out. Swim. swim. No lie. Who just said swim? Wave that fin if you said swim. Punch it. Punch it. Rip it. Hey, Crush, watch out for the glass. Dude, okay. <laughs> thanks, Hank. How long has that dude been there? <laughs> dude. Well, that was fun, and actually, a couple more people showed up than what there was in the beginning. Even though there wasn't a lot of children, it was still a very interactive show, and I think that's awesome. Well, I guess we'll head on over to the other side of Future World, but that was really nice that they let us on Finding Nemo. Thank you guys again, I appreciate that. It is now 10 o'clock and there's still an hour left of extra magic hours and look at this. This is what I'm talking about. I love the parks when they're like this. It's like a dream come true. Just nice relaxing stroll, stare at Spaceship Earth without worrying about someone running up behind you. It's a very relaxing feel. Well, look at that, a Disney rabbit playing in the grass. Look at that little guy. How you doing? I also wanted to come over here because I heard they opened up and actually took down some of the walls around Guardians of the Galaxy, and they definitely did. Interesting. Look at that, you can actually just see right in there. That's really nifty. Huh. Oh man, and I'm not sure why they have it roped off over here. Just a big bunch of open land and that big beautiful spaceship earth. Look at her, gorgeous as ever. I was just walking and look at this baby rabbit. Oh no, I hope it finds its way back to its mom. Look at this little one. Once if the, rab once if the mom rabbit just comes out and attacks me though. Look at baby rabbit, come on. Let's go. There you go. Come on. Safe passage. I think that's the mom rabbit. It is giving me some very, very dirty looks. The electric umbrella is still open though. That's really awesome. I didn't know they kept this open for extra magic hours. I like it. I think the thing I'm gonna miss the most about the electric umbrella the talking trash cans. Oh yeah, gonna miss this guy. Cool, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> hey, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Ouch, hey watch it dude, like your trash just knocked off my shades. Maybe they'll actually keep the talking trash can though, who knows? I mean, it's kinda cool. Look at that monorail shot. Beautiful, what timing I say. I feel like this is like a very odd thing to see actually. Like, never. I mean, unless you're like here until very end, but there's still an hour left. There's still an hour left until Extra Magic Hours is over. 
nobody in the breezeways, but still a gigantic line for this photo opportunity here. <laughs> I think I actually might wait. I mean, it's, I mean, why not? What better time now? I can't do any rides, so, hey. I have no idea how those pictures came out, but I will put them at the end of the video, which is right now, because it's 11 o'clock. It's the end of the night. So, love the life you live. We'll see you next time. Bye.